concept for my channel or it's just going to be very different, not something I normally post on here. I'm actually going to be doing a get ready with me today and I'm going to discuss like life updates, like horse related life updates and just maybe some other things as well. But I wanted to fill you guys in on how I've been feeling lately, what's been going on, future plans and things like that. I do have a beauty channel which I would normally post get ready with me's on. I haven't been as consistent on my beauty channel but since this is only horse related content that I will be talking about and like just horse things, not necessarily like lifestyle or like beauty related things, I just thought it would be a better fit for this channel. And you guys are my horse friends so I wanted to fill you guys in and I figured I could just do a chatty video while I'm getting ready or doing my makeup and just talk about horsey things. If you guys like this concept or style of video from me, I would love to do more of them in the future. I've been considering doing this maybe by talking about like a horse related topic while doing my makeup because I do love makeup as well. I don't do it as much as I used to. I used to wear it every day like pre-pandemic. Now I wear it once or twice a week but I still enjoy doing it and it is fairly therapeutic for me like horses are. But anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Let's get into the video. I just zoomed you guys in a little bit. I did prime my eyes because it helps the eyeshadows last a little bit longer. And I did put my hair up, I have a headband on. And I'm also not wearing my ring. I'm still engaged, but I don't like to wear my ring while I put makeup on. I think I'm gonna go for like sunsetty types of vibes for my eye look today. And I don't think I'll talk about the products. If you have any questions, I can definitely answer them down below in the comments. But this is more just focused on like horse stuff. I'm just doing my makeup while I'm talking about it. So my first order of business, I just wanted to kind of give you just life updates, like just for me in general and just how I'm feeling. So if you guys have been watching my most recent videos over the last couple months, you'd know that I've been going through some things within the last few months that haven't been very positive. I lost my heart horse sassy in November. I'm sorry, I'm flipping you off. Um, I also lost my barn manager and owner right before that. She was such an amazing woman and I miss her so much. I miss her every day and it just hasn't been the same without either one of them at the barn, but my barn owner was just the best and I miss her a lot. She did a great job handling the horses, managing them. And she was very detail oriented and she noticed everything. Like she knew everyone else's horses so well, like they were her own and she was just great. So I've been missing her a lot. I honestly have been in a pretty bad mental spot the last couple months with losing both of them. And also my work has been very stressful lately. And just a bunch of different factors why I just haven't been at my happiest lately. And I'm hoping once it gets warmer, I will hopefully get out of that funk a little bit. In addition to me not feeling mentally great, I think Tipsy's kind of showing that as well, unfortunately. It's been a really hard winter for us. We've gotten so much snow and ice and I haven't been able to do much with her. And she's almost five. She'll be five in April. She's technically five because of the whole like thoroughbred birthday on January 1st, but I don't consider that her birthday. She's still so mentally young and I'm totally fine with that and I want to help her work through her baby quirks and everything, but it's been pretty challenging with losing my barn owner and like my whole routine changing, losing Sassy and it's been so cold, the weather's been crappy. So she has been very spicy on the ground and I think it's normal. I think there are a variety of different factors causing her spiciness. I am gonna be treating her for ulcers because with all the weather changes, she might be having like an ulcer flare up. So I'm waiting for that stuff to come in and I'm just trying to support her in the best way possible. I have been doing groundwork with her. It's been hard with all of the ice and everything. So the sessions have been pretty short, but I just think that she just needs more time with me to dedicate to her training. So that puts me in to the next topic. And I actually decided to move barns. Since my barn owner passed, the price of my board did go up, which is fine because I still think it was fairly reasonable, but it just was becoming a lot because I was working off board and that was mainly to just kind of help 
it wasn't necessarily like financially like it, it was fine like I would have been fine either way if I decided to work off board or if I didn't but it was just becoming a lot and the horses aren't having the same routine they used to which I think is another factor of tipsy kind of acting out a little bit and just being a little bit more difficult to handle. She really thrives with the routine and so do most racehorses. So I think she really, really needs that, which I will be able to give her at my newborn that I'm moving to. Since her routine's changed, she's not getting fed at the same time or close to the same time every day. In the morning, it's a little bit more like streamlined. There's not too many time differences, but in the evenings, it's like all over the place depending on everyone's work schedule, which is fine. But for Tipsy specifically, I think she needs a routine where the times are pretty similar every day so she doesn't stress out as much because she's a very anxious horse. She's very nervous and she feeds off of anxious energy. So either whether it's with her handler or with other horses, she will feed off of it. And I totally get it, and I'm I'm a pretty patient person, especially when it comes to horses. So I get it. I don't mind all of the antics. She will still have a bunch of turnout. She actually will have a really amazing shelter at the new barn and with the field she's going in. And it's huge. Like it's a really big shelter, very open, and there's a bunch of different hay racks. It's a really large field. She'll have a bunch of different other mares to play with. So I think it'll be a really good situation for her turnout-wise. She'll also have a stall. I also feel like I don't have the time to actually do things with my horse right now because of having to work off board or, or I'm helping. Like, they're in between chores or something like that. So it just makes it difficult, whereas I can really focus at this new barn. And one perk that I'm so excited about. I've never had this in my life. This barn has an indoor and I'm so freaking excited about it. Of course I've ridden in indoors before but my entire riding career I have never had access to an indoor all the time and I just never grew up with like top level trainers or just more I guess like fancy barns. I just feel like I really appreciate the care that this barn does. I know several people who board there and I'll have my friend who also has two off the track thoroughbreds. She will also be there at the barn too. So I think it'll be a really good experience for us. Sorry for the abrupt, like I actually have eyeliner now, but I did go off camera and do my eyeliner, mascara and brows. But continuing on, so the barn does have an indoor and it has an outdoor as well. And we're pretty close in proximity to a local trail. So this trail is like, it's not my favorite trail to go on. I've been on it before. It tends to get a little bit rocky in some areas. It's not rocky all over, so it'll be okay. It'll be fun to have closer access to it. And this barn really isn't very far from my other barn that I'm at now anyway. So it's actually not adding any distance to my current drive, which I drive about a half hour to get to the barn. Another positive to moving, I will actually have more access to my dressage trainer. You might actually recognize the barn in my videos because it is the barn that I actually take my dressage or long lining lessons at. I usually will have my friend pick up my horse and then bring them over to her barn and then we'll have lessons there. So I'll actually have access to my dressage trainer more often, which I'm super excited about because she does come out to this farm once a month. She doesn't actually live on site. She has her own barn. This is just where she travels for lessons to teach. So those are the basic reasons why I wanted to move barns. I feel like this will be a nice fresh start for Tipsy. I do love my barn that I'm at now. I never wanted to leave. It was definitely different after my barn owner passed and after Sassy passed. I don't know if I would make this decision with moving barns now if they were both still alive, but I don't want to dwell on what ifs. I just want to look to the future for Tipsy and I. And Tipsy is a very smart horse, but she does have a lot of anxiety. She requires a routine and she wants to be treated how she deserves to be treated, like a queen. I respect that and I'm just excited to get into a riding program with her. I will probably do some lunging throughout the week and like lots of groundwork and little fun things to keep her baby brain busy. So we are moving barns that will be on March 1st. And I do apologize for the lack of actual like riding content or like seeing Tipsy actually on my vlogs or on my channel. It's just been really hard. Every time I get to the barn, it's 
pretty much dark every time. Sometimes in the very early mornings or I'm there at night during the week. And on the weekends, honestly, I like to take a break from the barn sometimes. It sounds bad, but I've been under so much stress lately with the barn and also work. And it's just been a lot. So some days I just need to take that break and focus on the barn during the week. And I can focus on like getting my house together and spending time with my fiance and other things like that on the weekends. So I thought it would be fun to go over some goals I have for Tipsy this year. Nothing too set in stone or anything, but just things I want to work on with her. I'd really like to get her going, walk, trot, can her under saddle like confidently and get some adjustability from her. She's actually pretty like, she's difficult to ride under saddle in the fact that like she doesn't always feel like moving forward. She can be kind of lazy. But when she is going, she's actually very nice to ride and I do enjoy riding her. So I'd really like to get her going, walk, track, can her under saddle. She has a pretty soft mouth, which I really, really like about her. And she goes in soft bits, which is great. She doesn't really lean on me or anything. She can get a little bit chompy or gape her mouth when she's anxious, but that's like the worst she will do like getting quick wise. But she will have little crow hops under saddle if she doesn't feel like moving forward, but that's usually at like a standstill and I ask her to move forward and she, She's always done this. She's been treated for ulcers. She's gotten um, chiropractic. I haven't gotten her massaged yet. Generally health wise, I believe she's fine. And I also would like to get a saddle fitter out for her once she gets more of like a consistent shape when she's in work. I have multiple saddles. I also have half pads. One saddle is adjustable. So I can always work on fitting it comfortably, but I will probably get a better saddle for her in the future and sell my other two. Another thing I'd like to work on with Tipsy this year, I would really like to get her ground manners like really solid and nice. She can have some buddy sourness when she's nervous and the other horses are calling for her. For the most part, as long as they're not doing that, she's fine and she's not that buddy sour. But when they start freaking out, that's when she starts freaking out. Like I mentioned, she feeds off of anxious energy. So that's what she does. But I'd like to get her to work on that and work on riding alone, maybe like um, hacking alone. And I'd also like to get her out on more trail rides. I've only gone on one with her and she loved it. She was a very happy girl when we went on a trail ride. But in order to do that, I have to work on trailer loading with her, which is something that she struggles with. So that's another thing I'd like to work on with her. So I personally don't have a trailer, but my friend does and we kind of work on it at the barn because she could leave her trailer there and it would just help Tipsy get more confident when she is being trailered or hopping on the trailer. And trailer loading is a very good skill and necessary skill to have because what if you need to take them to the vet clinic or just have emergencies. I'd also like to try to get her out as much as possible. I wouldn't mind taking her to a show this year and maybe not necessarily showing, but just taking her there to maybe school or even just like be on the ground with her and give it a positive experience for her. Maybe we'll end up possibly like jumping at the end of the year. I'm not in a rush. I really don't have any big plans with her. And I've also considered like maybe just making her a low level dressage horse. I originally wanted to show her and like um, jump big and stuff like that. But like, let's be real. I will be 27 this year and I'm an adult amateur and sometimes cross rails just look big to me. So it depends on the day. And I also haven't jumped in a while. So I would like to find a jumping trainer too, because I haven't had one that I've really super connected with in a while and I feel like will be really beneficial and the way I like to be trained and have the training. I want someone who's super ethical and will treat horses nicely and it's kind of hard to find that around here for many jump trainers. Not all, but a lot of them. I just finished the rest of my makeup off camera to kind of save some time a little bit because I think this is going to be like a 20 minute video and I don't want to hold you guys for too long. but. Those are my life updates. I'm moving barns. I'm really excited about it. It's definitely very bittersweet because I have so many memories at my current barn that I'm at. I got engaged there. My horse did pass away there. And I've met so many amazing people who I will miss dearly. And I still want to stay very close with them and visit them. But it's just, I think, the best move for us in order for me to train Tipsy the way I want to train her have more consistency and I think overall it'll be better for my mental health too because I won't be stressed about a bunch of different factors. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video and sticking through with me rambling throughout this video. And I don't know if any of you or all of you are interested in like makeup or beauty, but I just thought it would be something different for me to actually chat about horsey related things. If you guys like this video, please let me know and I can definitely do more of them on like maybe specific topics or updates on tipsy, things like that. I just think it would be kind of fun for me to do and then it would get me to actually do my makeup more often because for me personally, I find it very fun. And I think it was a fun time for me today to kind of combine two of my interests. Also, if you have any recommendations for the name of this series where I do my makeup and talk about horse things, let me know down below because I suck at names. I did name Tipsy, but also I think it's just funny every time I think of her name. Maybe not the best thing, but I think it does fit her at the same time. Anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling because I will just keep talking. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I also have a beauty channel if you wanna check it out. It is called Courtney K. I'll have it linked down below. Hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you later. Bye.